good evening, gentlemen. I've called you back here today to discuss a very important matter. We can't stop winning. I knew this match was going to be a good one when the man himself was here to present it, but I was shocked to hear what came out of his mouth. Each skater gets one challenge flag, which you're kind of a dick if you use it. All right, hold on. This is insane. I have a lot of money riding on the fact that a flag will be thrown for the Andy vs. Tori game, and this Jim Jam here comes and tries to influence the skaters before the game. That is not fair. If you have an opinion on the flag, keep it to yourself or do it outside the arena. Write about it on Twitter, whatever. You don't sit there as the main man himself and talk sass about a critical game move available to the players. I have no choice but to recant my 50k bet on the flag. I refuse to risk 50 big boys on this. Quite frankly, Barra ruined it. What I really don't like about this is that it's trying to shake the foundations of the strategy, and perhaps worse, it calls into question the integrity of the barracks. I was really excited to see Barra, but every time he opens his mouth, something horrible comes out of it. So this was a great match. Gustavo's got that Red Bull money, very clean contest skater. However, if it's a competition in swag, I gotta give it to my main man Nick. Nick was pure steez. This dude's cool. I would buy drugs from this guy. He's all suave and shit. Super relaxed, got that lazy catch steez. Like a man of honor, he knew that switch tray was bad. He cleaned it up. They both got that three shove, which was really impressive. Very snappy, too. But this is where things went a little bad. The double flips are a lot of people's kryptonite, and unfortunately for Nick, that appears to be the case. He tried to set with a switch double heel, lost his turn. Gustavo sets with a nolly double kick, and he takes a letter. As much as I like Nick in terms of long-term betting strategy, you've got to have those double flips down, and if your game is like this, you're going to get chewed up. Presumably, if things go as planned, we should be seeing an Andy Anderson versus Nick Holt match. That match is going to be absolutely insane, and I can't wait for it. Two of the steeziest people on earth going at it. It's going to be a blowout. Tyler versus Patrick. This match was brutal. Patrick was put through the ringer. I can't help but feel empathy for this guy. The last game of skate I played kind of went down like this. I got completely smashed and it hurt my feelings. Tyler, though, you have to give it to this guy. His story is heart wrenching. His father passed away, and in the thick fog of grief, he turned to skateboarding. His efforts have paid off. He's easily one of the top skaters of this competition, and I'm sure his father would be proud. But he still got a letter. This wasn't a sweep. I think he was only operating on 25% of his power level. He needs to stay sharp because he's not going to have it this easy again. The most tech trick he did was a forward flip, but it took two attempts. I can't help but think maybe Tyler had some resentment for this, and when he was teaching Patrick how to do the forward flip, if he didn't give him some bunk advice. I absolutely would. That would be the most optimized strategy. If he asked me how to do the trick, I would spit out a bunch of gobbledygook, put some pressure on the toe side concave, flick up to the nose like a burial kick but with more upwards drag, add a bit of scoop to the heel side for the counterbalance of the pop. I, I'm not going to teach this guy how to do one of my special tricks. I'm going to confuse him and watch as he self-destructs. This is battle at the barracks, guys. It can make your career. It can break your career. This isn't your schoolyard game of skate. This is the big leagues. It's kill or be killed. Good men do bad things in a time of war. We have to accept that and move on. So my forecast for last week, Anderson versus Pudwell, was wrong. I, I completely believe that this is a strategic move by the barracks. They know that match is going to be huge, and they're going to keep cockteasing us with that one. Barra guilt tripping contestants to not throw a flag has me withdrawing my 50k bet. But it's anybody's game now. Who's going to play next? I don't know. It's a surprise. Guys, we are on a hot streak. 
Take a nice warm bath. My buddies bust my balls all the time. They think taking baths is gay. Guys, don't let that toxic masculinity dictate how you should live. Treat yourself. Take a couple of Zans. Slip on into the comfy warmth of a nice bath. And the best part about this is you can now use the Pub Boy Bets mobile app in the bath with you at all times. With the Pub Boy Bets mobile app, placing bets and keeping track of results are just always a few taps away. Pick it up on iOS and Android from the Google Play Store or App Store today. All right, thank you guys. See you next week.